This is a real toy helmet. We would like to represent its shape as a computer model. This process is called geometrical construction or reverse engineering. The toy helmet is scanned using a laser scanner to produce about 14,000 points in three-dimensional space. The points are not connected and contain noise and require interpretation to create a model that can later be used in CAD applications. This work focuses on reconstruction using a neural network technique. The neural units of the neural network, seen here as black lines, represent positions in 3D space and will later serve as vertices of the reconstructed triangular mesh. They also represent the normal to the surface. Initially, the neural units are scattered randomly in space. Then the learning process begins and the neural units compete amongst themselves for a position close to the sampled points. In the same time, the neural units form connections amongst themselves. These connections define the edges of the mesh. An extension to this mechanism defines the triangular faces of the mesh. Each face created is a subset of Delaunay triangulation, meaning that the triangulation is relatively pleasing for many technical and visual aspects. The constructed mesh is but a geometric approximation that compactly represents the point cloud. In this case, 200 neural units represent the 14,000 points sampled by the laser scanner. Since geometric approximation rather than interpolation is used, the effect of noise in the scanned data is diminished in the reconstructed model. At the end of the learning process, the neural network accomplished three tasks. One, geometry approximation. Two, topology detection. And three, compact representation of the scanned data. Although the reconstructed shape is incomplete, it contains enough information to complete the reconstruction process and create a manifold surface representing the scanned helmet. The reconstructed triangular mesh model can now be imported into a CAD application and then modified and manufactured. Additional information is available in these publications. Thank you for your time.